One of the main problems with typing on an iPad is that it can become very uncomfortable tapping on a glass screen for any length of time. So when trying to use an iPad to configure a Synology NAS or complete a task for work, an iPad will be at an instant disadvantage when compared to a traditional laptop. So to get around this problem, we're going to install a Bluetooth keyboard onto an Apple iPad. While Apple do offer a range of Bluetooth keyboards for certain models in their iPad line, these keyboards tend to be very expensive. So because it should be possible to make any make or model of Bluetooth keyboard work with our Apple iPad, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can install a bridge wireless keyboard onto a 12.9 inch Apple iPad Pro. Let's get started by opening and unboxing our new keyboard and then running through the setup process. As you can see, the packaging is beautifully laid out with the lid of the box providing us with a keyboard map. At the top of the box, we have a tab that instructs us to lift here. This tab will allow us to easily remove the keyboard from the box. Underneath the keyboard, we have the usual documentation, which includes a quick start guide, a user manual, a sticker, and a welcome card. Then in the bottom of the box, we have a magnetic protector for the back of our iPad. Finally, we have a USB cable, which we can use to charge the keyboard. First, we're going to fit the magnetic protector to the back of our iPad. This is simply a case of lining up the front of the protector to the back of our iPad, ensuring that the lens for the camera can be seen through the cutout. With the magnetic protector now fitted to our iPad, we are ready to connect the iPad to our keyboard. As our iPad will slot into two clasps fitted to the keyboard, we first need to adjust the position of the clasps so that they are pointing up. You also need to double check that the rubber protectors fitted to the ends of each clasp are correctly aligned. We can now position the bottom of the iPad so that it is in line with the clasps and gently slot the iPad into position. You need to ensure that the protector is flush with the back of the hinges. Next, we need to charge the bridge keyboard. This can be done either from a main supply or by connecting one end of the supplied USB cable to our iPad and the other to the bridge keyboard. A status indicator light on the keyboard will now shine red until the battery is fully charged. However, while the battery is being charged, we can pair the keyboard to our iPad. To place the keyboard into pair mode, we simply need to press the Bluetooth button on the keyboard. The status indicator light on the keyboard will now turn purple and start to flash. This signifies that the keyboard is now in pair mode. Now from our iPad, we need to locate and choose Settings. From within Settings, we need to select Bluetooth. In the Bluetooth panel, under Other Devices, we should see our Bridge Keyboard. By selecting the Bridge Keyboard, our Bluetooth keyboard will pair with our iPad. After selecting Pair, we can test that the keyboard is working. So let's open Notes and type a simple sentence with our new keyboard. While you may notice that we are not the fastest typer, we found that by using a physical keyboard, typing is easier and we made fewer mistakes than when we used the on-screen keyboard of our iPad.